In 2021, I started reading and collecting comic books again. Being based in the UK, you cannot leave out 2000 AD, which is a science fiction comic book anthology originated in the 70s and it's big household character is Judge Dredd who originated from those pages. Judge Dredd is about a version of a future cop set in a very dystopian future in America in a post-apocalyptic and new society. He's a street cop that um, judges and executes on, on the street, on scene, the whole political environment is completely changed in this future version. As I said his stories have existed for 45 years now so there's obviously a massive amount of material. So where to start? Well the nice thing is that all of his stories are collected in these complete case files there are 38 out so far and I don't think there is an end to it yet and I'm, I'm very very pleased for that because 2000 AD and the Judge Dredd magazine which is his own comic they are still running. I wasn't sure if I would like this character I always left him out for a very long time because of the picture that I got from other readers or the media coverage. He was always portrayed as this stony-faced killing machine. While that is true, when you go and dig into the source material there is definitely a lot more to this character. I started with watching the 2012 film with Carl Urban portraying Judge Dredd which is basically a day in the life and although I didn't think it was very good I absolutely enjoyed it and I wanted more, more of this world, more of this character and I think it was quite fitting to start reading those comics in 2021 being now nearly two years into this new world we're living in. So I started reading this big one which collects his first stories, his first appearances at, in the 70s. We are in the year 2099 to 2100 where he is I believe 38 years old. The comic is drawn in black and white which is um, in later books changed when it becomes coloured and here we just follow Dredd's everyday life as a street judge policing the streets, sentencing, executing sentences and judging obviously. I also discovered that there is a children's version of Judge Dredd where he is still a cadet learning at the Academy of Law. Um, this is more recent 2000 AD regent or regent and although I thought this was only about Dread, we also meet quite a lot of the other characters we know from 2000 AD. Um, so we have Rogue Trooper here which I came to quite enjoy and Side Judge Anderson who um, sometimes works together with Judge Dredd and who also plays a big role in the 2012 film. This one is fully coloured, aimed at younger readers but I truly enjoyed it and it is so precious and cute and I absolutely love it. Then there is also novellas, three collected in one omnibus. We have one year one, year two and year three so far. This is where Judge Dwend has just graduated from the academy and is new on the streets and it is really his forming years as a rookie and obviously in prose you can explore a character and a world quite differently and quite broader than you can on the restricted amount of pages you have in the comic. All of those stories are no more than a few pages long. It is also very interesting to compare Dread throughout the years. Him being a child, him being a teenager, a young man and then becoming older and older because in 
contrast to other comic book characters like Superman or Batman who always stay at the same age roughly. Judge Dredd ages. Then there's obviously the original 2000 AD comic book anthology which I do not collect, I decided, because I'm mainly only interested in the Judge Dredd stories and um, not in other characters really, although um, I got this Christmas one because it was quite a big one and it featured some stories and characters that I'm now quite intrigued by but I think I wait until collected editions of those stories come out and I mainly got this because there is a story in here where the comic book Judge Dredd meets the 2012 film Judge Dredd and the Sylvester Stallone 1995 film version Judge Dredd and I thought this story was absolutely hilarious and I loved them all meeting together. And then there is the Judge Dredd magazine um, because Judge Dredd became such a popular character that he got his own comic book. This also only features one Judge Dredd story and then um, other character stories which are quite alright but I'm not too interested in. Um, but while 2000 AD is published every week, this is published only every month and um, you also get like gimmicks with it like an extra little comic book an original little comic book or something like that so um i also absolutely love the covers so i might collect those i have two so far but i'm mainly reading the complete case files to just catch up with all of judge dread stories and i really hope that they bring out more of those novellas. I have read four of these case files so far. I have read all three Judge Dredd omnibus that are out so far and I know that there are I think one or two others and the fourth one is coming out in 2022 so I've only read this one so far but I definitely want to continue with this series. I absolutely adore Judge Dredd. I think he's my favourite comic book character. He's always portrayed as this stony face killing machine, which he on one hand is, but if you go into the source material you will find out so much more about his characters, about his humanity that is very very deeply hidden beneath lots of layers of uh, leather, armour and scars. It's hard to say if he is a hero or not. Obviously his characters is written and drawn by so many different people over the decades that they also all put their own version of Dread into it if they've seen him as a hero or not. I know that the next story that I will read um, he will make a decision that I totally do not agree with and I will be heartbroken while reading this because so far I have such the such a positive and hero-like picture of him. Um, as I said, it's those little moments of humanity where there's one story that I absolutely adore where he has to rescue animals from an experimental lab and the story ends with him creating a new law that does not allow experimentation on animals anymore. Judge Dredd is a quite diverse character. He is cloned so you have this aspect of how human he is and how he is perceived in society because of this background and how much of humanity is actually removed from him because of that. He never had the innocence of a child. There is also the factor that the why and especially you can see that in the novellas, in the prose, how neurodiverse he can be. As an autistic person I quite identify with how socially awkward he is, how logical he is, how passionately he believes in what he does and how absolutely hyper-focused he is on what he does, which can be a, a part obviously of his upbringing and creating 
but it is also something that I experience as an autistic person and I just like to read about characters that share similarities. He's also um, a queer character. He, as a judge, he's not allowed to experience romantic or sexual relationships with other people but he also does not show an interest in that so he can be seen as a ace or asexual representation so it's very interesting to look at that from quite a different and also academic point of view and for that I first got this book which is 2000 AD and Judge Dread the Secret History written by Pat Mills who is one of the first creators of 2000 AD and Judge Dread. This was mainly Pat, obviously Pat Mills point of view on the whole history of how this comic anthology and this character came to life and then I also have Judging Dread which is academic essays on the world of Judge Dread. Um, they're not academic enough to my liking but they gave a lot of input for new thoughts and I think that was very a very very interesting read if you're not just reading the comics for entertainment. The Society and Judge Dredd himself are very close to fascism and Judge Dredd can be seen as a fascist in the way he puts the law onto the street and this very much removes him from being a likeable character so I'm always searching for those little human moments his interaction with his brother and the whole story about his brother is very compelling, heartbreaking then there is a story with his niece which is absolutely adorable there's also a story with a boy that he kind of rescues and um, puts into the Academy of Law. It's just those moments for me and I'm, I'm just also a big lover of characters that are so cold and hard on the outside and have a not soft core necessarily but a deeper personality hidden that they can't or don't show or don't want to show very much. One thing that I've noticed is that there is not much of a fan base on, on social media on when there is. It is mainly very heteronormative, very white, very male, not diverse at all. There's just so much potential in the comics for diversity. The diversity is definitely there but the readers, the diverse readers are not there or the diverse readers do not speak out so um, I, I can't find anybody to talk about in depth about Judge Dredd and the whole world and it's not I don't I don't want to talk about him being the stony-faced killing machine I want to talk about the and also don't really want to talk about the satire of it but I want to talk about the diverse moments in there and um, the queer aspect throughout the world so these are just a few thoughts of me just having started discovering and reading Judge Dredd and the 2080 universe I'm interested in seeing where it takes me this year if you haven't encountered Judge Dredd yet I highly recommend doing so if you like him or not doesn't matter because still you get a lot out of those stories they don't stop on the page you take them with you they make you think and there are so many ways to talk about them and I really wish to get a conversation started with somebody who has other in insights other ideas other theories until then Happy reading.